What's up, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This your boy Jared. Yo, y'all remember when I uh, when I covered Doctor Umar a couple of days ago? Well, apparently he's blaming black men for women getting BBLs. Now I'm gonna take a little look see at a video that the brother um, Average Man Unplug. He uh he reviewed and uh we gonna take a little look at what Dr. Umar said. So let's let's get it. It's a whole nother problem. Check this next video out. With carcinogen, because I think a lot of that garbage they putting in their bodies is cancer causing. Mm. But guess who I blame for it? I'm not blaming my little sisters for getting a BBL. I'm not blaming my little sister for getting that collagen in their lips. I'm not blaming my little sisters for getting them breast implants. I'm not blaming my little sisters for getting those car windshield wiper eyelashes. Propaganda? Social media? I'm Who blaming, blaming us. Who? The black black man? man? Yes, sir. Why? Bruh. Because we have sexually objectified the black woman. Yeah, but you don't think women make... Uh, 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 let me finish this and then you're going to come back on me. Because yeah. <laughs> you're one of the faces mm -hmm. of hip-hop. Yeah. In the videos. I'm not holding you accountable for what everybody does, but generally speaking... There's few mediums of media that have se sexually objectified the black woman more than hip hop. So if I'm a little black girl and every other music video I turn on, she's half dressed with big breasts and a big ass. And I want a black man to want me and like me. And I probably ain't got no daddy because the white man locked him up or the police killed him off. What am I going to do to be attractive? I'm going to go and get a BBL. Hmm. What I'm saying is black men, not just his hip hop. I want to clarify. Black men, period. Professional black men, athletes, everyday brothers, all of us. I don't want to make the hip hop community more responsible, but y'all definitely leading the pack in terms of the sexual objectification of the black woman. If hip hop and the black man in general did not sexually objectify the black woman, we would not see the BBLs and physical surgeries that we are seeing from our black women to try to look more attractive. That's on us. They're doing. You stupid. Dear Dr. Now you heard what Dr. Umar said. Now I want you to, I want you to hear, I want you to hear from my mouth. A lot of men have been telling black women, this, modern women, in fact, to stop getting these fucking, these fucking BBLs. We've all been telling them to start doing this. And it's gotten so fucking bad to the point where you have people that are not even really talking about these issues and commenting on these issues. And they're having this conversation now. Now, I want you to hear something from, matter of fact, let me see. Here, here's what Stephen A. said. Because this is this is insane that a man of Stephen A's stature had to come out and say this too. Now look at this. Uh, at feel like Simmons, right? BBL or natural? Y'all know what I mean. Big booties. That's what they're talking about here, right? What would I prefer? Well, natural. I would like to state this because it's very very important. <clears throat> It's no secret what I have a proclivity for. That has been the case all my life. My adult life, that is. Um, I have no desire to be with any woman as flat as me. To each his own. But if I got more A's and T's than you, nah. I'm on YouTube. I can say ass and tits, but I just didn't feel like it. But if I got... More of that than you, I don't need you. I really, really don't. I'm sorry, I just don't. Some level of voluptuousness has to exist. I want curves. I mean, you, you, you can have some up here. I prefer a lot back there. No doubt about it. Legs matters, hips matter. I don't want you ugly, but you don't have to look like Halle Berry or Beyonce either. You understand? Strong seven. Strong seven. Now I'm going to deviate from this particular subject to bring up what a strong seven is because there's not a man alive that's going to disagree with what I'm about to break down. So I want the ladies to listen 
because I'm trying to be here for you. I'm just trying to be here for you, okay? I'm just trying to be here for you. I want the ladies to listen. I want the ladies to listen, but all the men, there's no man alive that would disagree with what I'm about to say. You want a strong seven. Let me tell you why. Ten, fine as all get out, tat out, body, looking fine, everything like that, got it going on. Too much maintenance. Too much, because she knows she's fine. And you're expendable. She could take you or leave you. A nine, that's a problem too. Because you got enough people telling her she's a 10, so half of them acting that way. And by the way, the ones that ain't acting that way still require more from you than what others might. And so you got to be up on your game. That's problematic. Eight, that's ideal. Because that's really, really good looking. She got it going on. But at the same time, there's a level of independence that comes with it, which is never a bad thing until she's so independent that she's making you feel like you need to be more dependent on her than she needs to be on you. So there's too many opportunities and too much time that's wasting away where you're not feeling like that dude. You're feeling like a dude, not that dude. Here's where the strong seven comes in. Looks why she can compete with an eight. But her mentality is not that of an eight. So she's more appreciative of you wanting her. As a result, she shows an elevated appreciation for you wanting her. Therefore, she treats you like she wants you. And as a result, y'all have more of a good time together. Fellas, am I lying? Fellas, am I lying? Everybody know I'm telling the truth. Everybody know I'm telling the truth. This is what it is. Strong seven. Now, that don't mean she ain't an eight. But strong seven. That's somebody who is an eight, but don't act like. That's what makes her special. Those are the ones that are married. The others, long engagements, quick marriages and divorces, or just perpetual singlehood. Because they spent so much time showing you that you were expendable that you finally looked at them and said, well, that's why I don't want your ass. Because I'm expendable. You're going to dump me anyway when it's time. Why waste my time? Did I not break that down? I believe I did. Perfect. You know, I could say many things about Stephen A. Smith, but what he said, you had to admit the old buddy was cooking. Now, the whole fight against natural versus BBL, bought, paid for, I'm going to say this. For me, I prefer a woman that has a natural butt. Natural butt, natural tits. I can't stand all that damn, that damn plastic ass shit. I, I just can't, I, I can't stand it. I really cannot stand it. And the fact of the matter is that a lot of people keep on telling a lot of women to stop getting this shit done to their bodies. They still refuse to listen. Now, I'm going to say this. It's on you to make yourself attractive to the other uh, the se other uh, other sex it's your job to make yourself look attractive to the other sex now you have Filipinas out here what the hell oh, uh, yeah let me uh, show this now you have Filipinas doing this let's do this I hope I don't get copywritten for that.
So you have them Filipinas doing that. As you saw, she didn't have no BBL. She had a she had a small butt, but still. That was natural. Now, when men keep telling you to stop getting all this shit done to your bodies, that's the reason why. But y'all refuse to listen, so y'all gonna keep doing what y'all want to do. I personally do what you want to do. I don't really care. But the fact of the matter is, is that y'all keep getting this stuff done and keep on trying to blame men for y'all doing all this effed up stuff to y'all bodies. And then y'all sitting here and blaming us and agreeing with Dr. Umar when Dr. Umar tells you that, oh, it's black men's fault that all these BBLs is coming out here. Now y'all want to sit here and listen to him after y'all have told us for years, oh, we're doing it because we want because we want our bodies to be, because we're doing it for us. Man, if that's a lie that I haven't, that I haven't heard yet from y'all. And y'all keep doing this stuff, so it's just like, really? Y'all, y'all keep saying this stuff and then y'all keep on... Keep on out here, going out here and accepting what Dr. Umar is saying and blaming black men. But then, on other token, you're telling us that, oh, you're doing it for yourself. Make up your mind between the two. Either you're doing it for us or you're doing it because you want to do it for yourself. But we keep telling you stop getting this stuff done and y'all refuse to listen. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast. Let's pop it. I'll come home and see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.